Alright guys, this is the first time and probably last time that I'm going to post this to YouTube. But this is a video. This is a Monday. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it's been a long, long haul since Sunday. And it's only Monday and I got to go to court tomorrow. Or maybe it's Wednesday. I don't know. Because that's how bad my brain has gotten. With all the stuff that's coming against me. Okay, I had to drive to Rome and then back home. <laughs> and, you know, being in Rome, there's some things that you face in Rome that you don't want to have to face in Rome. Might be a pilot. Might be pilot or maybe uh, Caesar Augustus himself. I don't know. But you're going to face something. And then everything's going to fall down on you and it's going to feel like a wall. And these big rocks just banging you in the head. Well, you know, I'm just coming home and because I'm so flustered and worried about my daughter. And I think be, she's with child and fixing to have another one. And I'm too young, but yet too old to be grandmother. You know, and I'm going to so much. I ain't never got nowhere. Or I feel like I ain't got nowhere, but I have got somewhere. People just don't understand it. And I do when I look at this sign. And I enter that little building and I enter that church. Because I'm carrying church with me. I haven't been to this church since I was 11 years old. Maybe 12. And I was tall for my age. But raised in this church. Seen some amazing things happen in this church. You know, I'm going through all of this today, and I'm getting yelled at from one end to the other. And I ain't talking about who. It's just life, you know, and the devil, and everything that you got to deal with. And then you don't want to have to face things you have to face. And you face them, and you're thinking, God, I don't want to face it by myself. I didn't do nothing wrong. I've just tried my best to make a living and do what's right for the Lord, for my kids, and I messed it all up. And I end up with a granddaughter that I love more than just about anything on this earth. And and I don't care if I end up living under a bridge somewhere. Or in a woods or in a mountain or in a cave. I don't care. But I care about my kids and I care about what affects them. Now, uh, anything, anyway. And then you're trying to figure out how oh, I'm... I'm making the right decision here. And you're doing what I'm doing. Well, and then you just keep on going. And I keep on going. And I keep on doing what I do. And knowing that God's trying to shut it off. And I just won't let go. And I'm just going to move right here. And I'm going to have church all the time. Demons Luke Chapel. I'm going to let them have that house. I don't need it. Just give me a house, or give me an altar, or give me somewhere I can pray. Well, I didn't leave in Rome. Daughter, I don't know where she's at. Don't know if they found her yet. Oh, I'm living just moment by moment, second by second, and breath by breath, because sometimes I feel like my breath is going to go away. But. When I'm driving home, I end up going down the wrong way somehow, some way. I ended up in Kingston. How in the world did I end up in Kingston? When all I had to do was just go straight down and end up, uh, you know, where I live. <laughs> and I ain't going to go and go and tell you that. But on the way home, you know, you end up going the wrong way, but you end up landing right in the spot you're supposed to be in. And is this not the most beautiful place in the whole wide world? This is Dempsey Luke Chapel. Dempsey, I guess I'm just a little Dempsey for Jesus. And that's all. But you know I mean? Okay, right there's my car. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I haven't washed it. It don't have hardly no gas in it, and it ain't worth nothing. <laughs> And I sure don't have no money in my purse. 
because I don't have a job and I can't go get a loan to get one to go to school to start my own business because I'm somewhere that I can't get out and I have to wait five years. Or do I? Somebody send me to school or, or give me a business license. Give me a, give me a store. I'm going to have a store and I'm going to put everything inside of it. It's going to be made by my family's hands. This is not a beautiful church. I mean, it says on five acres of land. Five acres of beautiful land. And I, Lord, I hope we don't end up having to have a graveyard here. These are my people and this is my family. Oh, ain't gorgeous mine and the lights are shining over the church. Oh, this is where I want to be. You know, and then go through time in your life when you think that you've lost your granddaughter and you've lost your daughter and you've lost your sisters. You've lost everybody in your life. And you don't know what to do no more. You've been to every church in your town, in your city, and don't know where to go. And ain't nowhere to go because nowhere feels like home. And then all of a sudden, boom, Dempsey Loop Chapel drops down in your head. But it ain't so called Dempsey Loop Chapel. It's called Truman Monkey's Church. But it's only Jesus' church. Well, that's where Truman is today, is with the Lord. And he was from Nashville, and he could sing some country. Uh, his daughter, Grand Ole Opry, sang with Garth Brooks, Loretta Lynn, Conway Twitty. That, you know, and she tried to get out of her contract because she just wanted to come back home. Oh, and this isn't all beautiful. And now she runs the church and she sings. And she sings with a beautiful group called Spiritual Vision. They made beautiful. And they've got such musical talent that it's just unreal. And the voice, oh, she sounds like Loretta Lynn herself. And I mean, beautiful. It's like an angel singing. Our mother can just, the spirit that's in her is that same spirit that I want. That I remember from long ago. You know. And then you know. The second time I walked in this church. They took me. You know the first time they took me in. I was at home. They made me a part. Not because I used to be or was an until I am. Nope. They, we need a congregational song leader. Bam. There I was. And I built on the website, and posting on YouTube, and posting on Facebook, and posting wherever I can about what God's doing at Duke Chapel. Because God's doing something, and people are missing out. They're missing out on something wonderful. And it ain't because I can't sing. I just lose control of myself. And I go a little crazy. I've even laid behind the pulpit and cried and spoke my Cherokee language with not a language that you don't know that you do that you don't. But you know, and there I am going and rapping. Whatever you say, God, whatever you want. And so I sang some of these older hymns that I love from when I was a kid. brings back such memories. I want to be a kid again. I don't want to have to worry about this crap that I'm worrying about. So I was a little silly. But thank God I seen the eagle fly. I just don't know what else to do. I want out church. I can't go home. I got to move in two weeks and I ain't got nowhere to live. So I'm going to live right here. I'm going to live at the foot of the cross. I'm going to live. That's all that matters. Oh, but I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. <sighs>
I feel like somebody on a tag now, Lord. I need you to help me. Help me to be all that you want me to be. Help me to be all that I can. Help me to be the woman that you called me to be. And let me stand. I don't want to fall and blubber like a baby. I just want to smile. I want to be happy. I want to be happy and free. Dang it. I need somebody to write me a song. And I need somebody to play it just a little bit loud. Because I'm going to make some noise for Jesus. Because I'm just a little bit crazy like that. I've done fell out of the apple tree. Johnny be good, can't you see? And Johnny be bad and Paco dog. <laughs> and he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and God does too. That's all that matters. I just want him to know that I love him. <laughs> and when I can't. Show nobody that I love them no more. Because I've showed them until I feel like I'm going to die or lay down on the floor and die. Or give up or not even wake up. And smell the coffee. That's brewing in there in the house. And in my grave. <laughs> oh Lord, I just don't know. I just really don't know. <laughs> I need some help from the Lord above. So I'm going to have church all by myself. Because <laughs> I know the Spirit is within me and in Him and all around. He's the same and you can find Him everywhere and, and you won't be bound. You can talk to Him wherever you go. And I don't know what to do no more. I can't talk about the Lord at home. I can't even really pray at home without everybody stomping my back and trying to break me down. I, and it ain't their fault and they don't even know and realize they're doing it. They don't. They don't. And I love them so much. I wish I could take everybody's problems away, but I can't. And the more I add to myself, the more I'm not myself no more. And the more I struggle, and the more times I had to pick my butt up off the floor. See, this chick done went gone crazy, and I've already went 13 minutes just rambling on. Probably about nothing, because if it's something that I'm saying, then it's got to be nothing unless God's within it. And this church, oh God, ain't it beautiful? Now this is just a clear of Jesus shining in the heart. Or maybe there's Jesus, I don't know. Can you see? But I think it's beautiful, don't you know? Gorgeous. The most beautiful church I've ever seen. But if you don't look close, you'll miss it. I'm not lying, you will. But it's the most beautiful church in the world. And that tree, oh, such a dogwood there is. But maybe not, but maybe so, but maybe, who knows. <laughs> but you know, i seen a tree grow from a mustard seed. And it grew largest and the largest of all the trees. Uh, all over the world, and this tree, it sent out a shadow across the land of all nations, and in within the branches of each limb and every little piece and speck of the tree that made it as huge as it was, in every branch there was million. I mean, this tree was. On every branch, there was at least, I don't know, th a thousand birds. Thousand. 
a bird of every different color, every different species, every bird you can ever think of, but more even that I hadn't even been discovered birds that we would never could even think of. And but and amongst them was the gray speckled bird, but high up in the sky flying over the tree, watching and protecting, and just you know. You know, faith that it flies. It's a flying around upon above this tree, and it never rests upon any of the branches, but it's there. And I seen it come down. And glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, I have been found. And I know that I might be a robin, I might not be, I might be a, just a Tabitha, which is a gazelle. But I'm not nothing, I'm just this, and this is what I am. Until God, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. And you let me have church, and let me live happy and free, and let me not worry about these bills, and don't let me worry about my children, and my grandchildren, and their children's children. And then I'll be alright, and I'll be okay. But you'll be finding me at Dempsey. And I'm stuck here for now. Even though the church ain't having church. I guess I am. Oh, and is that a doggy over there in that field? <laughs> burf, burf. <laughs> well, I better get going because everybody's going to think I went and done gone crazy. <laughs> and I've already got a crowd. <laughs> now I'm going home. <laughs> Maybe get me something to eat. But I'm not lying, everybody. It's Dempsey, and it's all that that's for me, anyway. Because, <laughs> because at Dempsey, there is an altar, and there is a cross, and there is Jesus hanging up on the cross, and you can't miss him. You can't miss him. And you might see a little girl named Isis, just two years old, and she's for Jesus, and oh. <laughs> but I'm going to stay right here and this guy at Dempsey because <laughs> I'm going to fly one day I promise you that <laughs> and I want to see all my brothers and sisters just be so happy and I remember that old little sign but that's the new one but this is the one that I remember whenever they before they even built the church itself I was a part of watching them lay the bricks because I was too little and too young to be picking up a brick like that. <laughs> but that's the sign I remember. Listening to Truman play, they ain't nothing in like no other to hear the words of the songs he's wrote because they're his and God gave them to him. And thank God that they're all God. <laughs> but they're not. Because <laughs> you're God. <laughs> But through those words, we heard God. And that sound of that guitar, boy, it cried like an angel. And it also clipped and clapped. And that steel guitar, it sung a lullaby. I know, and then that banjo boy gets you dancing. So that fiddle. Or what should I say, violin? I can't help it, I'm just a little country and a little bit Jesus. And that's Dempsey Loop Chapel. Dempsey Loop Chapel is in Adairsville, Georgia. But it's also uh, located in the Calhoun area. You're not, if you are at Sonorville High School, you're not even 15 minutes from Dempsey. So you come from, you know, there. You, I mean, Calhoun. Dempsey Loop Chapel. You go down Plainville Road off of 53. And then when you see a road that says Dempsey Loop, turn on that road, you go just one mile, one mile, one, exactly one mile from that sign at the other, at the end of 53. Now, I'll get the backwards ones, but it, it ain't backwards, it's still just as right as we are, because, you know, most of the people live on the other side, and they are in the heart of uh, Adairsville. But I am just a little Calhoun girl, red bud, red bud stomping grounds for a little while but you know 
I'm here now. I'm back, and I'm singing, and I can't sing, and I'm sure you'll find out when you listen to them, and uh, God whipped me and made me post them anyway on Facebook or YouTube, and I want to cry, hmm. and then I want to leap and shout, but you know, I ain't without saying that everybody ain't going through something, we all go through something, but let's just go through this something together. As you'll find a family here, and you'll find some love, and you'll find some care. And you might even find a shoulder to lean on. There goes my phone again, and I don't want to listen to it. Because I'm afraid it's all just bad news, because I'm just tired of all this bad news. <laughs> Because I know there's good news in the crucifixion. I mean, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And I'm trying to lift him up. Build me a cross, somebody, or an altar or something, please. Because I'm ready to be fed by the raven. Just like Elijah. And someone done something so special for me. And I know it was God. But that person didn't know. Because God told them and they didn't know. And they did it and I don't know them. But God knows what he did to them. And it saved almost my life. Just don't even know. Because it gave me a bigger, deeper revelation. It wasn't mattering if I'm in the dark. Or have no way of cooking or taking a bath. I have a roof over my head and that's okay. I don't care if I smother anyway. Because I'm telling you, there's a lot out in this world, in and out. <laughs> and I've been there, and I've been there, and been there, back and forth, and around the loop, loop to loop. I've done flu the coop. And I know what good is for the goose, is good for the gander, and the gander is for the goose. I don't care who what. <laughs> Dang. I need to stop while I wall on my head before Jesus strikes me dead. <laughs> but Dempsey Loop Chapel on Dempsey Loop Road in Adairsville, Georgia. I pinged it. I know. I accidentally, somehow, God knew. God knowed. And here I am. <laughs> Because I ended up from Rome and ended up in Kingston somehow. And thank God I accidentally hit Dempsey Loop Chapel. And there I am. I've done went and started. It's got a big star on it. And it's a northern star and it's shining and it's showing you the way. Uh, it's not Christmas but might as well be. 